it's, I guess it says it's recording. Okay, so hey, everybody, I've met all of y'all, and um, I don't know if all of y'all have met Trila, but you will, and then there'll be Jennifer with us, Alexandra, and Monica. So there's a total of nine of us, eight are pips. Jennifer is actually our up one. So um, first of all, I want to tell you, Plexus puts on a great convention. This will be my third. And everyone gets bigger and better and bigger and better and more exciting and more exciting. And um, I hope that you are as inspired and energized as I have been. I hope that you get some education. Um, and I hope that you are recharged when you come home and you're ready to just plow into this and get going. The experience alone is amazing. And I hope that all of you now, I mean, I'm going to go over a lot of stuff. There's negatives too, because it is 12,000 people. So, um, that's the first thing I want to talk about is that if you've never been to Vegas, be prepared for large crowds. And um, the MGM is a, a big hotel, and they're used to facilitating large crowds. And I'll tell you, um, one of the first years I ha ever had to go, Hannah Montana had a concert this one night in that facility. And if I can handle 50,000 little girls with long, long wood wigs on. I think we can handle a bunch of plexus ladies. So um, they're used to handling a lot of people. They're used to getting them in fast. Um, I mean, we just have to be patient. So you have to be ready for the crowds. Um, if you haven't been to uh, an event where there are 12,000 people that have the same agenda you have, it can be a little daunting. But um, that's why I'm here. I'm here to help you, help you get through the basics with the least amount of frustration. Um, planning is great, but y'all know the saying. Um, what is the saying? We make plans and God laughs. So um, I just need for all of you to remember that we're going with 12,000 other people that are as excited as we are, and we kind of have to go with the flow. I have been to Vegas multiple times. Um, some of you have, some of you haven't. So I'm going to go through a couple of things that will help you with this. First of all, we're staying at the Monte Carlo Hotel, which is across the street from MGM. Now, don't be fooled. When I say across the street, I actually mean about a half a mile. Wouldn't you say, Janet? Yes. If there's a crossover bridge right there so hopefully i mean be prepared to walk okay um because and not only that once you get across the bridge you still have to get to the main hotel which is set pretty far back then you have to walk to your room and i remember a couple of times in vegas when i nearly wanted to crawl to my room i always ask for a room close to the elevator because it's less steps you have to take at the end of the day it, it's just that's just what I always do okay so what we're going to do about the hotel bill I have two rooms on my credit card Trila has two rooms on her credit card so what we need each of you to do is to bring a check with you so that when we check out a hotel you can divide your room charges up by however many people are in there and you will write us a check for your share now, Janet, if you would rather you and Kelly could take one of the rooms that Trina has and put it on your own credit card, if you don't want to write a check. Oh, either way, it doesn't matter. Okay. So does that sound fair to everybody? Now, you know we're not going to be there till Monday, right? So do no, we have a room? A bunch of us are flying in on Sunday. So if you're coming in on Monday, then we need to change your reservation. Okay. Okay, so let me make a note. Now, what time are y'all going to get there? Well, I'd like to have early check-in if possible. Uh, we get there at like 8, eight o'clock in the morning. Is that right, Kelly? No, I think our flight lands at like 12.30 or something. Oh, are you serious? Oh, no, no, our flight gets in at 7.05 a.m. Uh-oh. Not in later than that. No, we leave at 6.20 and get in at 7.05. Okay, okay. And the only reason I say that, and I'm going to talk about this in a minute, we'll talk about this, but um, the earlier you get there, the better if you're coming mm -hmm. in on Monday. So mm -hmm. we just need to adjust y'all's room. Okay. Um, there is no free shuttle. 
from the airport to the hotel. But mm -hmm. I called the hotel today, and they do use a company called ODS Shuttle, and it costs seven dollars to get from the hotel. I mean, from the airport to the hotel. Or um, I think Tracy, Shay, Jennifer, and myself are all flying in. Y'all, it's twenty bucks cab ride. So um, either way, uh, uh, either way, it's not too expensive to get to and from the airport. Okay, one of the things I love, love, love about Plexus is that they have huge, huge containers of Plexus mixed up all up and down the halls. But at least they have in the past. Hopefully, it will be free flowing. Um, I will be taking in my suitcase my Plexus Yeti, and I will be going up to those things and filling them up. Making sure I always have water. So take a take take a water bottle or something. Last um, at leaders retreat, they stopped us from filling up the water bottles because people were sticking the water bottle on there after they'd been on their mouth. So you know, yeah, I see you, Shay. <laughs> So you want to take if you they'll have little cuts. I mean they'll have little cuts. Shay's a germaphobic girl, so Tracy <laughs> and Jennifer Yellow. Keep your stinky feet off of her stuff and <laughs> stuff like that. Just a little roommate now. Okay. If you haven't done it, there's a Plexus app you can download to your cell phone and um this with my stuff. It is just like this. Oh, you can't see. It's a Plexus app, and it will have all the information that you need for the event. I'm going to go over a couple of things. Um, the agenda, I want to talk about this really quick. So they have a Plexus store there, okay? They have a Plexus store. But let me tell you about the Plexus store. Um, first of all, you can only charge things back to your credit card that's on file. So you can't walk up with a different credit card or a check or cash. They will only go, they'll pull up your ambassador number, they'll pull up your ambassador number and charge it back to your account, um, which is kind of good because your PVs, well, if it's product, if it's merchandise, you don't get, you don't get personal volume points for merchandise. Y'all, last year they had, the cutest, they look like Michael Kors bags, they had um, pill boxes, they had umbrellas, they had scarves, they had all kinds of t-shirts. Yeah, I don't, I may have gotten this one there. Um, pajamas, stuff that you can't buy on the website. So um, take your little extra gift money so that you, you can buy yourself some, um, and I mean, keychains and I don't know, cups and blingy cups, and I don't know what all they'll have this year. So, but here's the deal about this store. Um, usually you have to stand in line to get in the store. Now they, they have it down to a science. So when you go there, don't freak out. They'll, you know, they'll have it, what do you call it, fishtailing through. And you have to stand in line. But once you get in the store, they only let a certain amount of people through. So it's not like you're in there fighting with them, you know, a bunch of crazy plexus ladies. Uh, you know, it's not, it's organized, but you will have to stand in line. So they open the store, I think, um, every day from 8 a.m. to, I mean, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. You'll have to double check that. It's in the marquee ballroom. Just remember that you can't pay cash. They're going to charge your credit card. Okay. Um, and hopefully they will also have the new product. But that also is, you know, like you'll see the crazy people, they'll like rush out to go get the product and everything. I'm a little calmer about all of it. Um, when I get in there, I get in there. If I find some stuff I like, I buy it. Um, but I've seen, I've seen some people act like crazy people. Okay, registration opens on Sunday at 11. This is my second one. I've never had to stand in line. I've walked right up, registered. They always give you a bag. So you should be getting a um, some sort of a Plexus tote bag, and it'll have little goodies inside of it. It'll have the agenda. First, you'll, get, you'll check in, then you go get your badge. 
then you'll go get your bag. And it's always simple. But I'm telling you, don't show up at 245 and expect there not to be a line. So um, my team, they're flying with me. We will go. We will check into the hotel. We'll go register, get our bags and everything, and then we're free to go. I highly suggest the minute you land. Um, Trila landed last year right before the general session started, and y'all, she was running, and she came in with her suitcase and sat right down next to me. <laughs> uh, but I'm telling you, get there as early as you can. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Get there as early as you can so that you aren't stressed. I mean, it'll just, it, like, it's kind of was stressful for Trila. So try to get there early and register. Um, let me see. Uh, mon the first session, Monday at 3 o'clock. Don't be late and don't miss it. Um, don't miss any of the sessions for sure. But don't be late to this one. You want to be there when the fanfare starts. We have a great MC. It's um, Antonio Victor Antonio. If y'all haven't seen him speak before, he's amazing. He's fun. Um, we what we're going to do? I'm going to put everybody in my cell phone in one group text. So I will establish, uh, or we will establish a meeting place. Um, each day we'll either all walk together from the hotel if you don't want to do that we'll establish a meeting place this is a big convention center there's going to be seats everywhere y'all were not allowed to save seats and let me just tell you this if you're late I'll leave you I'm not gonna be late Trilla and I are drill team girls and we won't be late so if you if your choice is to lay in the bed and that's your choice then you're gonna miss great information and at Shay's a drill team girl Tracy's a drill team girl you're okay. going to be late and you're gonna miss great information and we can't save a seat for you so you're gonna be on your own so um, be on time probably what we'll do is in the mornings we'll probably meet at like 730 or 8 walk across, find some little place to grab something to eat, or we'll get some granola bars and bananas and keep in the room, something fast and simple. Um, so the first session is three o'clock on Monday, eight o'clock, we have our team dinner at Cabo Wabo. It's down the street from, um, from the Monte Carlo. So we'll either all get in, a, in two or three taxis, split it up or I'll pay for it or we'll figure it out um, and we may just walk back and see some sites and what I mean if you've been to Vegas we'll see some sites but we'll play it by ear okay Tuesday morning 9 a.m. general session like I said we'll meet we'll walk all together we'll try to stay together this year we'll probably be able to do that okay next year when we have 40 people going and all of you have down that downline members going this is good that's gonna be harder but we'll worry about that next year so this year we'll just all kind of hang together okay um, Tuesday the first one is a general session at 2 o'clock is a training session so they break at 12 and we'll just go find places to eat y'all there's all kinds of little places to eat we'll share we'll do whatever make it fun. at 6 o'clock is the winner's dinner so Janet and I will go to the winner's dinner we will meet all of you at the dessert reception and I believe Trila who is silent right now like Harpo Marks is uh, going to maybe find a place for everybody, for y'all all to go have a little dinner. Then we'll all meet up together for the uh, dessert reception. Am I saying what you're feeling, Trila? Is that what you're thinking? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thumbs up from Harpo. Okay. Um, was Harpo the deaf one? The, he was the one that couldn't talk. Okay, Wednesday. This is when it gets different. Um, this, this session is from 9 to 12, and it's a, what, what I typically call a breakout sessions, and it's by levels. So silvers and non-silvers will all be probably in the big auditorium. Then whatever your level is, gold and senior, I think it's gold and senior gold go together, ruby, senior ruby go together, jewels go together. And that's when you get more specialized instruction on um, the
the level that you're at because as all of you are learning each level requires a different skill set and um, <laughs> different it's just different. <laughs> okay, so um, another general session from two to five, and y'all, they'll be announcing big step. You're going to see a session where um, they're taking the emeralds up on the stage, and they get their stuff to go to Hawaii, or they get their uh, plaques, or whatever they are. I mean, it's exciting. You'll see the people that win the big checks. Um, then you'll see when they announce, uh, my internet connection is unstable. You'll see when they announce the new product and then they'll announce at one of the sessions where the leaders retreat is. So at each session, they announce some big stuff, so don't miss. Okay, packing, what to pack. I'm not gonna tell y'all what to pack, y'all are smart. First of all, let me tell you this, it's gonna be hot. It's gonna be hot. Um, comfortable shoes. Now, let me tell y'all this, and this is me, this is not y'all, this is me. I've always believed and will always believe you dress for the job you want, not the job you have. So, um, I, and y'all know me, I like to put on a little dress and everything, you know, that's just how I roll. Y'all don't have to do that. I would prefer you not go in t-shirts and sweats. Okay, you're a businesswoman, you own your own business, step up your game, okay? Um, I have a backpack that I will carry. I have a little purse too, but I'll have a backpack. I will put my painful shoes, my uh, Cinderella shoes in my backpack. I'll wear flip flops as we walk across and probably put my cute shoes on there. It's up to you. But I'm just saying, um, represent your team. There's going to be lots of pictures that we're going to be sending back. How do you want your downline to see you? Do you want them to see you in a t-shirt and sweats at a Plexus convention when you're trying to, you know, maybe not. Put on something cute, something nice, something you'd wear to work. Um, make sure you take tons of business cards. Tons of business cards. If you have brochures, take brochures. And here's why. You're going to meet so many people. And you're going to have a conversation and you're going to say, oh, well, what's your name? Well, you'll never remember their name because you're going to meet so many people, but you can get their business card. And then when they walk off, you can write on the side, um, cute girl in a purple dress. And then you'll remember when you get home, oh, yeah, I wanted to write to her because she told me about a Google thing that I can use. So take tons of business cards with you. Take brochures. Now, here's the other reason I want you to take brochures, because not everybody on this planet has heard about Plexus. Every time I leave Dallas, more and more people tell me they've never heard of Plexus. And last year in Phoenix, Trayla and I were handing out Plexus brochures and information to uh, Uber drivers. Y'all, Uber drivers, they're looking for a way to make money. Talk to every Uber driver you get in a car with, okay? Um, we were handing out goodies to the people working behind the desk. Y'all, we were in Phoenix, headquarters of Plexus, and people didn't know about it. So... Don't assume that people know about Plexus. Um, I got a new ambassador on the bus while we were driving to a leaders retreat last year. She had never heard of it, but she was looking for a way to make some extra money. So have those brochures in your hands. And I use brochures because they're harder to lose. So, and get you some brochures. If you order today, I promise you, you'll have them. Make sure you have your cell phone. Make sure you have chargers. If you've got those little extended charger things, I don't know what you call them. The Mo little bricks. Mophies or something. What are they called? I call them a brick. Okay. Hers is a brick. <laughs> take a sweater, it looks like a, brick. a jacket, yeah. a wrap. I know it's hot in Vegas, but it's probably going to be cold in the convention center, so take something to wrap up. Okay, let me tell you all this. I've been to Vegas. I can't tell you how many times. It, the air is so stinking dry, and while your hair will work great, your skin will dry out, and you will die, so take your Plexus cream. Um, leave some room in your suitcase, Trila. Trila, are you there? Leave some room in your suitcase to take goodies home. Trila, I mean, we were, it was bad last year, so make sure that you've got some room, because I hear that they are going to be selling welcome kit, and you know how big the welcome kit is, so leave a little room in your suitcase. Um, have some cash, 
tip people. You know, you got to tip. If you get there early and you can't check in, leave your luggage with the bellman, okay? And, and um, you can leave your luggage there and get a tag, tip him. Then you can go over to the MGM and register. But make sure you got tip money. Um, credit card. So let me tell you about the credit card thing there real quick. I highly suggest, and, and y'all, Vegas is just like any other town, I highly suggest that every morning when you get up, you check your bank account just to make sure that there, that nobody's got your um, information. And usually, usually your bank will call you and say, hey, did you charge $350 to a casino? Um, it happened to me one time. I called that morning. And um, I said, you know, somebody got my note, somebody got my card. I used it in Vegas. I'm in Vegas. Somebody got my card. They said, how much cash do you think you're going to need? I didn't have another credit card with me. And he said, just go down and get you a couple hundred dollars. I had it in my account. Then we'll shut it off. It, it all worked out. But I'm just telling y'all, be careful. Um, you know, and check your account. Eat, check your balance each morning just to make sure. You should check your balance every morning anyway. I do. Um, okay, very, very busy airport. So when you're departing, I highly suggest, and especially with TSA, now I was just there in February, and the lines were not long at all. But y'all, I've been there when it took me an hour to get through security. Janet, you've been a lot, right? Oh, yes, and it, it has taken longer than that. So if you're pre-check, use it. Yeah, so, um, you know, if you're with me, you will be there two hours early. Um, okay, so I talked about the hotel. Um, they have pretty strict check-in, check-out time, so don't dawdle in the bed. They will charge you a late check-out if you're not out of your room. Make sure that you uh, get out of there. I think everybody has, um, has, has an early enough flight. Uh, remember, we're going to walk. We're going to walk a lot. So Sunday night, if you're getting there Sunday night, my team, we're going to go check in. We'll go get registered, and then we'll head out. And those of you arriving on Sunday, we'll probably go down to Fremont Street Sunday night, check the light show, do do some touristy kind of thing. Um, remember that everything there is further than it looks. So if you look down the street and you say, oh, well, I see, I see the Bellagio Fountain. Let's walk. Well, there's some apps that you can pull up that'll tell you how far it is because it may look like it's a quarter of a mile and it may be a mile. So you just want to make sure that you know how far it is. Um, uh, Las Vegas strictly enforces jaywalking. They have bridges for most um, passes. So you have to walk down, find a bridge, and cross over. I'm telling you, you do not want to jaywalk in Vegas on that main strip. First of all, there's crazy, crazy drivers, and somebody will run over you. So um, make sure that you adhere to that. Um, let me see what else. Uh let me see. Make sure you have the water bottles. Um, I just got a message from a guy who wants to meet Sunday night or Sunday afternoon to talk about plexus. Hey, okay. I talked about dress. Um, the um, can you, you can't see me. Uh, okay, I only have ten minutes. I only have ten minutes left, so I have to hurry. Um, for the dessert reception, can y'all see me? Can anybody see me? Can anybody hear me? No? Can you, can you hear me? Okay. Tracy, can you see me? I see you. Can you hear me? You're just, you're checking out, so. Okay, okay. Um, I just want to go over one thing real quick. Um. Okay, remember that they do smoke there, so that's sometimes an issue. Um, but I want to read something real quick before I get disconnected. And um, this is from Helen McFadden. Okay, here are her tips. Can y'all still hear me? It's breaking up. Huh? It's breaking up. Trila, can you hear me? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to read this real quick. It's from Helen McFadden. Okay. Have an absolutely positive attitude at all times. Things happen. There will be lines. It'll be hot. It's all perspective. Make new friends in line. Have your water with you. Be prepared and have an adaptable spirit. Number two, have an absolutely positive attitude at all times. Last year, we got the cutest bags and there was a misspelled word. Some people got got on this, got all upset and complained about it. Some were grateful to have a super cute bag and then Plexus generously sent us a new one months later. So be grateful and extend grace to all. Number three, have an absolutely positive attitude at all times. Vegas has a lot of distractions, but think about why you are there to learn all you can to help grow your business. Be at every event on time, ready to learn with that positive attitude. Number four, have an absolutely positive attitude at all times. Smile at everyone and embrace the One Plexus culture. Remember, there are going to be 12,000 ambassadors descending onto Vegas. We are, we are still in the branding stages of this company. Make connections before just handing out your cards. And if you get someone who already has been given Plexus materials, be excited for them. Meaning that if you meet somebody and they've already been approached by an ambassador, stop, okay? And tell them, oh my gosh, you need to join us. We have the best time. And the last thing, have an absolutely positive attitude at all times. Deciding ahead of the time, ahead of time that this will be the best convention ever you are blessed to be able to attend and you're about to have your best year ever will ensure that it will be you're in charge of your happiness your mindset and your success and I can't wait to see you all so um, these are just a few of the things I kind of wanted to go over I will probably schedule one more zoom meeting next week before we all leave on either Sunday or Monday um, I just wanted to touch base with everybody and kind of go over a few things. You, uh, we only have a few minutes left, so if you have a question, just send it to me. I'll be happy to answer it. And y'all, just be ready. We're going on this amazing adventure. Trila and I had so much fun last year. We acted a fool multiple times. We were serious most of the time, but we did, you know. Um, and, and let me just tell y'all one thing, Okay. I'm just, this is, I'm going to be transparent. Last year at the winner's dinner, Janet, I I think I shared this. I may or may not have overindulged a little in wine, which overindulging um, doesn't take much because I'm a wimp. And um, the next morning I woke up rather ill, which God inflicted that pain on me because I deserved it. But what I had to do was I had to think to myself, what would a what would a leader? Well, first first of all, I shouldn't have done it, and and I had to pay my sins. But I had to tell myself I came here to learn for this team. I came here to represent our team. I came her, here to become a better ambassador. So I forced myself to get up and to put some lipstick on the pig and go and ask Trila. Poor Trila had to. Can you breath mints and <laughs> you know so what I'm saying is that um use your time wisely it's and it's easy to get caught up in the spirit of the party because there's it is a party town it's a party atmosphere but you might want to save that for another trip same thing for the gambling it's easy uh, I don't gamble so and I don't know about y'all but um Set your limit and then stick to it, and that's it. And don't don't get carried away in the atmosphere because Vegas is very. And also, stay with us. We'll adopt the buddy system. Do do not say I'm. Do not call me and say I'm going down to the CVS and it's midnight and I'm going by myself. Not gonna happen. Okay. Somebody's either going with you or you're not going. Okay. Sorry, but. I want everybody to come back because you guys are my, my leaders. You guys are, are the ones that are going to take your teams to the next level. So safety first, a little common sense at the winner's dinner when they're pouring. And I don't know, Trila, did they serve alcohol at the dessert reception? Oh gosh, (laughs) maybe that's what happened. It was the dessert reception. So um, just use your common sense. 
think about your mom while you're acting a fool, <laughs> you know, and uh, say, I'm here for a reason. I'm here for a purpose. I'm here for my team. And we'll all, we're all going to have a great time. We've got a lot of great personalities and we're going to have a great time. So um, message me with any questions. And I will get back with y'all next week, probably same time, same bat channel. And then we'll be ready to go um, on that Sunday. Are y'all excited? Yep. Yes. Yes, Yay! yes, yes. Okay, wear your t-shirts on the planes too, y'all. Wear them on the planes because that's where you're going to run into a lot of people. Okay, message me, call me, text me, whatever. And um, I will be talking to all of y'all really soon. Okay. Dream big about this. We're going to have a great time. Thanks, y'all.